Our sources have confirmed to us it's been wide, widely reported that Israel is responsible for this, but notably you still won't say that. Why is that? Is it because that's not your assessment or because you don't support what they're doing here? It's because I don't have anything more to add on this issue. As I said, there was no U.S. involvement, and I'm not going to go beyond that today. Then let me ask this. These kinds of tactics, blowing up pagers and walkie-talkies, is this type of warfare acceptable to the United States? Again, Mary, I appreciate the question. I, I'm simply not going to be able to address these incidents over the last couple of days in any level of, of detail one way or another. Okay, let me try one, one other thing. Please. You know, everyone keeps urging, you know, all parties involved not to escalate this. Isn't this an escalation already? I mean, isn't this Israel doing exactly what you've been warning them not to do? Again, I'm not going to speak to the details of these incidents. I understand that's frustrating. I, I get it. And I understand where all your questions are coming from. They're all valid. They're all fair. I'm just not going to get into this. I will add, if I could, and restate a little bit to what I said to Gabe. We still don't want to see an escalation of any kind. We don't believe that uh, the way to solve uh, where we're at uh, in this crisis is by additional military operations at all. We still believe that the best way to prevent escalation, to prevent another front from opening up in Lebanon, is through diplomacy, which is why Mr. Hochstein was over in the region this week. Um, and we're still going to pursue those kinds of outcomes.